the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus <coughs> put a parable before the crowd. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and sold in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it has grown, it is the biggest trough of all and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and shelter in its branches. He hold them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like, is like the years of women took and mixed in with three measures of flour, till it was living all true. In all this, Jesus spoke to the crowd in parables. Indeed, he would never speak to them expect, except in parables. This was to fulfill the prophecy, I will speak to you in parables and expose things hidden seen the foundations of the world. ព្រះយេស៊ូមានព្រះបន្ទូលជាពាក្យប្រសាសន៍មួយទៀតទៅកាន់បណ្ដាជនថាព្រះរាជនៃស្ថានបរមសុខព្រះបីដូចជាក្
I'm useless. I understand only half a language, not even a full language. But that feeling of helplessness is important, is important. Our gospel today talks about parables of Jesus. He talked about the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, using parables. The kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God. So it is about greatness, greatness. No kingdom can compare with the kingdom of heaven. No king could compare with the king of heaven. No authority could surpass the kingdom or the authority of the king of heaven. So we are before the greatest of kingdoms, the kingdom of heaven. But Jesus says, the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, the smallest of all the seeds. Jesus says, the kingdom of heaven is like the yeast which a woman took and mixed with three measures of flour. You feel small, you feel you're limited, welcome to the kingdom of heaven. For in the kingdom of heaven, there is only one who is great, and no one else should pretend to be greater than the Lord. This is how God works. This is how God builds up his kingdom on earth. This was the experience of Jesus who is the kingdom of God in person. St. Paul, in his letter to the Philippians, said, though he was the Son of God, he emptied himself. He emptied himself of all glory. He became a humble human being. And not just a human being, he was crucified as a criminal, but God gave him the name above every other name. This little mustard seed, this hidden yeast, we can verify in Jesus. He himself declares, to his disciples, you know how those who have authority on this earth lord it over others. They make their importance felt. I am the most important. Sometimes a simple human being, no, when elected to a government position, even the lowest government of a uh, position, after the election, uh, they, they feel great. Even the tone of their voice changes. Before the election, they can say, oh, bonjour, good morning, buenos dias. After the election, they will say, Bonjour, <laughs> buenos dias, good morning. They have to make their importance felt. 
but that is the kingdom of this world. That is the kingdom that produces a lot of injustice. It is the type of kingdom that produces a lot of poverty. It is the type of kingdom that produces war and conflict. Not so with the kingdom of heaven. So, dear friends, as we conclude this festival, this experience of entering paradise, a foretaste of the kingdom of heaven, as we go, please bear with you, bring with you, this experience of being very small before the greatness of God. But let that not prevent you from going and sharing the Jesus whom you have experienced. The mustard seed must be planted and the sower will take care of it. Lo and behold, that seed will become a tree, which is the biggest, according to the gospel, the biggest shrub of all. And it will welcome the birds of the air to give them shelter. Like the yeast, be, allow God to mix you with the dough of daily life. How many of you are still studying in university or, or wherever? <laughs> yeah, okay. When, when, when the school opens again, you will be eager like yeast enter into university life until the values of Christ's kingdom will rise in your school. But you are the hidden yeast, humbly working, humbly but powerfully at work because you allow Jesus, the greater one, to accomplish what he wants to accomplish. So as we ask you to leave paradise for a while, you will enter another paradise, the paradise of the earth, the paradise of everyday life, and there be a small seed, there be yeast, and show them not your greatness, but the greatness of God. Today, we are celebrating the feast of Saint, Saint, uh, wait, we, I want to see whether the priests know uh, <laughs> whose feast it is today. Ignatius of Antioch? Ah, Loyola. Oh, uh, thanks be to God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, one of the principal patrons of Le Chemin Neuf, uh, the, uh, the spirituality left to us by this simple, simple man. He chose to be little. He was a soldier with a great career 
before him. But then he got wounded. Wounded. He could not fight anymore. He could not be a soldier anymore. Imagine how his world, his ambition fell, collapsed. I am useless. But it is, it was in that situation that he started reading about Jesus, about the saints who follow Jesus. And God took this helpless, wounded, almost useless person to become a soldier of his kingdom. We have some beautiful lines of prayer from Saint Ignatius, which for me reflect the readings, especially the gospel, where he says, take Lord, receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding, my entire will. All that I have, all that I possess, I give them up to you. When we were seminarians, we used to sing that song very often. One day, the rector called me as I was the coordinator of the community. The rector of the seminary called me and asked, why do you always sing that song? Take, Lord, my liberty, my mind, my memory. I said, we love it. And he said, what if God takes your song seriously? Are you ready? So I told the liturgist, stop singing that song. <laughs> stop singing that. We're afraid, you know. But no. When we follow the song, the, 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 the prayer of St. Ignatius, he said, all this came from you. They are not mine. All this came from you. I am just returning them to you. I really am nothing. What I have is not mine. I'm just rendering it back to you. But then he says, give me only your love. And that's enough for me. That littleness that becomes greatness, the emptiness that becomes fullness. We commend all of you to the prayer of Saint Ignatius. May you pray like him. May you ask the Lord to give you generosity, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to labor and not to ask for rest. Save that of knowing that I am doing your most holy will. So dear young people, as you end one experience of paradise here in Portimao, go. Go to your respective paradises and there on the earth of your human existence be a small humble seed. Be yeast serving only the greatness of God's kingdom.
and as Saint Ignatius's, all for the greater glory of God.